And now it's time to talk about hate hoaxes, but since I didn't play this graphic before, I really want to play it now. <laughs> Eighty-one million votes, everyone. Leave it up the red carpet. Corn Pop is a bad dude. What <laughs> <laughs> is she doing? Oh, man, you ain't black. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you know that really does work real very well going into this, doesn't it? You yep. ain't black. Hate hoax. <clears throat> Turns out that a white KKK member making racially motivated threats to burn down houses and kill neighbors turns out to be a black woman. Shocker. I'm not shocked. Big. There's been so many shock. hate hoaxes. Big shock. Get the f out of here. And whatever happened to that douchebag in Chicago? Smollett? Yeah. yeah. Juicy Smollett. Smollett. He got like yeah. a Juicy. free, he got a pass. What a f that guy. Well, the, I don't know. Did he get a pass or did the, the industry just cover for him? I don't know. You know? Either way, if he's not, he wasn't prosecuted as far as I know. Uh, no, he that, wasn't, and they, they're never going to do that as long as past. Ken Fox is in in, uh, yeah. in Penn Power over there in Chicago. They yeah, won't yeah, do that. I mean, it just goes to show you that <clears throat> that mo more systemic racism that you hear about from Hollywood celebrities and the same billionaires that the leftoids claim to hate, oh, yeah. it doesn't exist because this is what you hear more about. Mm -hmm. People trying to make others believe that it's a problem. You know, they're they're losing the, the contest here when you have to pad your stats with fake shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, like, race relations between 2000 and 2005 were probably the best they've ever been. Now, moving forward, with all of the Antifa and BLM, it, it, it's causing the polarization. And, and if this thing gets nasty, it'll take us another 100 years to get back to where we were in 2000. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that you're you're wrong. Uh, I, I'm far That's okay. You can say "fuck you, pop." You're wrong. I'm like, okay. Well, fuck you anyway. <laughs> but I don't think that you're wrong. What I think, uh, you, if you look at uh, the shit that's going down on, on the Chinese communist app TikTok, mm -hmm. there are so many. I, I can't count in the thousands uh, black people, uh, men and women, that are coming on talking about we don't want this, and whites that are reciprocating we don't want this, and they're being viewed by hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. I hope so. so. I I, li I literally hope we can get back to the 2000 2005 levels without having, you know, a bunch of crazy <laughs> shit happen. I I don't want that to happen. All right? Just just be straight. Uh, but I just speak the truth and what my gut is telling me is what my gut tells me. I just think I I feel the same way in certain respects. I just think that it's going to be the people that are incredibly easily influenced. The people that want that type of carnage, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not to say that there aren't a few hundred thousand of them out there because there is. There's always a bunch of crazy you know, bastards. There's always a bunch of crazy bastards out there that are seeking to divide and conquer. And the, the race hustle is chief amongst divide and conquer, yeah. right next to religion. Okay. Yeah. That's true enough. Fair enough. It's quite pathetic how easily some people fall for it. Sure. Well, the thing is, is those people who fall for it are the same people who would have turned in Anne Frank during the Nazi times. Yeah, pretty much. And we're seeing that now more than ever with uh, certain mandates. Uh-huh. You know, just going and hanging out with your buds. If you're one of those not people— Not talking about anything we're not allowed to talk about here or anything. <laughs> Do some— <laughs> If you're one of those people who narks people out, congratulations, you turned in Anne Frank. Yep. Well, you put a big f***ing bullseye you're on you, too, because it went— does go south sympathizers in my estimation will be shown no mercy yep yeah there, there is that as no well. mercy yeah oh and this was just one of two hate hoaxes uh this first one here took place in georgia looks like georgia neighborhood was terrorized by a person claiming to be a white male of the kkk however police now say that the person making racially motivated threats to burn down houses and kill people is actually a black woman this started last December. Residents of the Brookmont subdivision of Douglasville began receiving radically charged letters in their mailboxes. The handwritten notes claimed to be from a six-foot-tall white male with a long red beard. <laughs> okay, and they really didn't know it was bullshit from go with that? Hey, hey, yeah. they, they forgot to tell you that he had a battle axe and a goddamn Viking helmet. <laughs> 
you know? <laughs> this is insane. The notes threatened to burn their houses down and kill them and said they didn't belong in the neighborhood. Yeah. The notes, which used the N-word and talked about hanging people, received by at least seven black residents in the suburb about 25 miles from Atlanta. And of course, because it's current year, the Douglasville Police Department went to door to door to check doorbell cameras and gather whatever information they could for residents. Jesus. These okay, now this whole KKK thing. Listen, the KKK was a significant force in this country from the end of the Civil War to roughly 1930, right before World War II. Democrats, sorry. Yeah, and it was completely formed, protected, and ran right. by Democrats. Yep. It was the, the militaristic arm of the Democratic Party used it still to enforce is. Jim yeah. Crow laws they on the ground. just call it something yeah. else At now. no yep. time did the Republican Party ever endorse the KKK or anything they believe in or do. Nope. That has never happened. But the party switched sides, Pop. Well, listen, <laughs> that they just say that for the weak-minded imbeciles, the sheeple in the middle, to get yeah. them moved to their side. It's that never happened. The KKK today is nothing compared to what it used to be. No. It's literally a boogeyman. Yep. It is. Now, do they, do they have... have rallies? Of course. Well, just but, like... you know who sh <clears throat> 1,200 people showed up to like a national rally. That's nothing. No. I mean, literally, it's just like, oh, only 1,200? Trump could get those numbers in his sleep <laughs> last minute. If he was handing in out a hurricane, 1,200 people would show up for one. Exactly. You know, I mean, give me a break. I'm just telling you, this this whole KKK thing is this boogeyman talk now. Well, well, the whole thing with far-right extremism is nothing but a boogeyman, and we proved it when we completely debunked the stats as they're being pushed in the media. Because exactly they're taking right. far-left crimes and they're reclassifying them as far-right. But that's not the media doing that. That's the actual people who are tracking this violence. Oh, the, uh, the bipartisan think tanks, yeah, right? Yeah. The yeah. SPLC, the ADL, they're all bought and paid. For. Yeah, they're all, they've all the sued bag. for all kinds of shit they've yeah. done that was below, not above board. Yeah, but but the FDA would never be a part of anything like that, right? I mean, no. they would never no. be, but they would never be accepting money from companies that they're supposed to regulate, no. right? Right. No. Oh, don't I say believe, things like that. How dare you? I believe that's an equation that you just said for corruption. How dare you? <laughs> Hey, my favorite slope, Ted. <laughs> oh. That's stupid. Watch Grunt Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll do the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Nah. <laughs>